Today, we saw one of the biggest deals in the oil sector for more than a decade. Shell is buying BG for 55 billion pounds, including debt. With me is Guy Shazan to talk about what this means for the companies and for the sector. So what does this tell us about the oil sector? Well, basically, the oil price has fallen by about 50% since last June. That's the key factor in all of this. And it's dragged down the valuations of a lot of the energy groups like Shell and BG. And it's created um, a whole load of buying opportunities for those with deep pockets like Shell. Uh, in fact, many are saying that uh, because we've got this low oil environment, oil price environment, we could actually see a wave of consolidation in the sector. Uh, the kind of M&A frenzy that we saw at the end of the 90s when the super majors were created, BP merged with Amoco, Chevron merged with Texaco, Exxon merged with Mobil, uh, and created these enormous companies. So we could see a repetition of that, although we might be getting a little bit ahead of ourselves uh, with those sort of predictions. Do you think this particular deal is a good one for the shareholders of both companies? Well, some investors are saying it is, some say it isn't. It's, it's difficult to, to really uh, say. Some investors say uh, Shell is overpaying for BG. Um, but uh, also others are a little bit worried that it's gaining exposure to some very risky assets. Uh, some of the projects that uh, BG has in Australia and Brazil have been hit by cost overruns, project delays, and they've often been seen as quite troubled. Uh, especially Brazil. Brazil has its own problems with the whole sort of uh, Petrobras meltdown. So, um, so there is a concern about that, that maybe, um, you know, that Shell is, is, exposed, is increasing its exposure to risky assets. So why would they want to do it in that case? Well, mainly because of Brazil. Brazil is the most incredible prize in the oil industry. Uh, the so-called pre-salt oil fields off the coast of Brazil are some of the biggest finds in the last 20 years. They're absolutely massive, and everybody wants a piece of them. Uh, they're prepared to sort of look beyond the immediate kind of operational and corporate problems, and, and really they see the long-term promise of those fields. And Shell uh, really wants a piece of Brazil. Also, it wants a, uh, BG's incredible LNG business. Shell itself is a very big player in LNG, liquefied natural gas. BG is one of the world's biggest traders in LNG as well. So buying BG, Shell cements its position as the global dominant player in that industry. Now, in buying BG, Shell is buying a company that's had an interesting corporate history recently. Tell us a bit about what this means for BG. Well, uh, it's had a lot of management up upheaval uh, in recent years. Uh, it's basically Andrew Gould, the chairman, uh, brought in Helga Lund, um, who was the former CEO of the Norwegian state-owned oil company Statoil as BG's chief executive. Uh, and he started in February. There was a big controversy because people felt he was being paid too much and there was a big scandal about his pay. He finally took the reins in February and now this deal happened. So he's going to be uh, probably in that job for le the least time that any other CEO in, in the history of the oil industry. Uh, he, he said today that he felt mixed emotions about this. He came to the company um, to uh, turn it round, not to sell it. So he's feeling a bit wistful. Uh, but he's going to get a very big payoff, so he shouldn't really be too concerned. Sounds like he'll go home with a paycheck, the shareholders will go home with some money, and the oil industry may be getting ready for a frenzy, right? Absolutely, yeah. So take-home messages, watch this space? Definitely, yeah, yeah.